Hey everybody, it's Nikki, and today we are going to be reviewing a LEGO Harry Potter Castle modular set. These are normally, if you know me, not my favorite, but I actually have to admit, I am really, really excited to build this because it comes with some really cool new wand elements, some nice dueling blasts, I guess, to attach to your wands, which is really, really cool. I'm very excited about those, to be honest. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool. Voldemort's wand, like the magic is literally being blocked, like in a shield by Harry's. Nah, I'm looking forward to this. Plus, it comes with Scabior. I mean, Bellatrix, Voldemort, Scabior, Harry, Neville, and Mrs. Weasley with a new printing, I believe. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and jump right into this review because I'm pretty eager to build this set. And as always, we are going to start off with those minifigures. So I wanted to start off here with Harry and wow, you can see how the new wand element looks, you guys. Oh, it's fantastic. I am totally in love with this Lego Harry Potter change. So just really, really quickly, here is what the wand looks like on its own. What's very cool is you do get an extra wand whenever one is offered. Okay, let's focus. So as you can see, Harry's wand does come in all black and it does have a transparent tip as all of these new wand elements do so that you can attach whatever spell casting mold it is that you need. And what's really cool is that you do get a ton of these spell casting elements. It's literally the Ninjago weapons pack of Harry Potter. I love it. And I will give you a demonstration of how they kind of work together in a moment, but just quickly focusing on Harry's printing. So it's the same torso that came in the Room of Requirements set without the ridiculously bright blue legs. <laughs> that was just a horrible move, but Harry looks good enough here. I do really like the tan jacket printing and he has the same face print as well. Next up here, we have Neville, a great minifigure in this set, also known as the other chosen one. You can see he's got the nice sort of Gryffindor in his hand. Definitely love the inclusion of that in this set. And he does have it so that he can cut off Nagini's head, who is also included. So Neville does come with a new torso printing, just a slight variation on the usual sweater vest that he normally wears. And a second beat up face printing as well. That is definitely one of the best parts about Neville in this set is that new face printing action packed and ready to kill some snakes. Molly Weasley looks great. As you can see, some of the characters do just come with the old fashioned ones. I'm sure they're just gonna continue to do that for lots of these sets, but she notably does have this brand new dress printing torso and skirt. And just doing a little comparison shot, it does look exactly, almost exactly like the outfit she wore in the film. And I'm definitely a big fan of the fact that they even gave her new printing. I think she got some nice special attention. I actually think a lot of the minifigures in the set got some nice special attention. Another one of who is Voldy, whoa, careful, careful where you're pointing that thing. So Voldemort also does look really great. He's got this new, you can see, muddied up back and torso printing. I'll move this, it's probably really distracting. So as you may have seen, his new molded wand does come in white. I'm not sure if that was really the right color choice for him. You can see the same transparent tip to attach any of these spellcasting elements. As you can see, his new robes are in this sand green color, which at first, you know, it's kind of hard to determine if that's the right choice. I think I've decided that I actually like it, even though I'm pretty sure his, his robes are either like a dark green or a black and they just get so dusty that it kind of reflects in this way. So that was an interesting maneuver, but I'm, I'm all right with it. I like a good variation of Voldemort. Really do love the muddied up look. Next up, we have Bellatrix and man, I just always love getting a Bellatrix minifigure. Most notably, she does have new dual molded arms, which stood out to me immediately. I love them. Technically, I mean, I kind of wish they went up a little higher on her shoulders and just kind of like peeked through a little bit of skin, but it still does look great and I'm really happy with it. It might be uh, a little short, but she does also have a new torso printing, which is really cool. The set got some really good minifigure detailing. Slight variation on her normal like corset dress. Why though she doesn't come with a skirt printing? Like, li like what? Literally could have used the exact same printing from the burrow with like the swirlies. Like it matches this outfit perfectly. I, I don't understand why they didn't do that. But I love the arms and the new torso printing. Looks good. Always love the hair piece. She's just a really, really cool character. Finally, one of the best minifigures in this set is Scabior. Pretty sure I got that pronunciation right. And wow, he looks really, really good. He's a brand new character we've never gotten him in Lego Harry Potter sets before and I love the printing he's like a pretty cool not a bad guy like a goon in the movie right and he's got that whole goon style I just love it he's like I think the word I'm looking for is cyberpunk but maybe not I just love the detailing on the torso printing with the jacket like the buckles across his vest you can see like the nice frilly tie that he's supposed to have tucked in there the crazy picnic style leg printing and like the detailing on the knees where his boots are he just he got some good attention he's got the more scared expression on this side which is a very very character like looking face I think they replicated him really well 
And on the back, the more vicious side, I guess. Um, the hair piece works. I feel like they could have done slightly better since his hair was in like a messy ponytail, but they really killed it, I think, with the outfit. Here's a little bit of a closer look at Nagini. Same hard, not really pliable piece. And now looking at these wand elements, because they are a big part of why people are excited about these sets. So you can see you literally get so many. It's so exciting. And the best part is you get a couple of extra. It's like in the normal packs of wands. If you got one, you got an extra. You have a spare. So you get four in this set, two white and two black, two white and two black. So this is my personal favorite combo, I think. And if you're wondering why I have Voldemort on my little turntable, um, it's because this like magic wand element that he's got actually makes him too heavy. He can't hold it on its own. So you do have to have him just standing on some studs in order to make it work. But this combo here is like my favorite. I just love this picture of like the offensive and the defensive. Like we have the attacker <laughs> and the shield charm. It looks really cool. Like you can really see how the magic is just like being absorbed and deflected by this charm. And there are plenty of different elements. You can have this like sun spark one. You could do this one on its own, but if you'll notice, it also has like a little area where you can attach another element onto the end. And some of these you just kind of can pile on top of each other, which is really cool. Not that way, this one goes this way. Harry is having the, uh, the same weight problem here, but you can just see there's like tons of different ways, if they're both standing on studs, of course, where they can just kind of connect, be dueling with the magic. If you'll notice these two, this is like a more swirly casting spell. This is a more like rickety lightning bolt looking one. There are just so many. And here's a nice clean look for you. You can see all of these spell casting elements provided. They all have the exact same ones, just in the two different colors. These are just fantastic. I am so excited that they've created this. It adds like a whole new level of displayability and fun. Great play feature, of course. And I was definitely hoping in this set that they would have something like this. And by the way, this is just how they show you in the book how the different wand elements go together. So the long awaited Battle of Hogwarts set. The set that admittedly I did really, really want to be a display piece. Not a big fan of the modulars, but here's the thing. I don't know if I was in a great mood when I built it and I'm in a great mood now, or if it really just kind of impressed me with its build and I think it's the latter, but I actually quite enjoyed this. And that is coming from someone who again is not a modular fan. I think that most of the modular sets, especially the sand green roof ones, have been quite boring. There have been some really, really plain and not exciting ones. But the thing with this one that I think I really like is that it feels like a very complete set. There are pillars, there are archways, and yes, it's empty, but unlike like a lot of the other castle modular sets, the Battle of Hogwarts was indeed a pretty empty scene, so it kind of makes a lot of sense. Now there are just a couple of sticker pieces used here. For one, we have like the clock tower, the giant clock, and if you'll notice, it's complete and whole on this side. And just turning over the build, you can just flip over that piece and depending on which side you want to have displayed, you can have it sort of like broken through. I think someone was like thrown through this. I don't remember. It's been a little too long since I've watched this movie actually. But aside from that, there's not much else. There are of course the doors that yeah open and close. There you go. In this bottom room here, we do just have a little teacup and a plate or a dish of sorts. Over on the right side is a fireplace. Let me see if I can maneuver this a little better. Okay, I just disconnected it to make all of our lives easier. You can see a nice little fireplace on the interior there and just like a desk, a table to sit at. Modulars do have a tendency to be quite plain. As you can see, everything is just connected with these Technic pieces here like all modulars are. And you can definitely rearrange the castle to your liking. So looking at the outside again, you can see on the exterior, there is a couple more stickers, some kind of Hogwarts crust right there an identical one on this side. And then up at the top here, we have another sticker piece just to add some detailing. And that's all. Oh no, no, wait, there's one right there. <laughs> it's behind this rocky wall right here. It's on the room where the teacup and dish were. Just a gargoyle that I think those were holding like fire something, like lanterns, or maybe that's just decoratively that way. I feel like there should be like a printed flame coming out of that bowl, but I don't know. For modulars, I never really know what to show because again, like this, it's pretty empty. You know, you kind of can see everything Thing on your own. But just talking purely about the aesthetics, I really, really do like this one. It looks a lot more wholesome than plenty of the other ones that we've gotten. It actually is kind of motivating me to kind of want to open up that Chamber of Secrets modular that I never built. Because honestly, looking, looking at the end of the instruction pamphlet, and if you're like a loyal follower of mine, you watch my videos, you know that I don't care for these modulars. But this is really starting to fill out and turn into a very compelling Hogwarts castle that I kind of want to build. And like, not that I really play with my my sets, but look how fun that looks. It is kind of tempting. I'm only missing a few of these down here.
here. Of course, like all modulars, you can just kind of reorganize this into whatever version of the castle that you like. I really like this version here, so let me show you what that looks like. Honestly, I think I kind of like this version better, and it took me way, way, way too long to put together. I'm just gonna attach a montage here so you can see exactly how long I struggled for. Actually, I'll just tell you, it took me like 10 minutes to figure out how to put this together. They really should put like more rules there for children and for me. I need to know exactly how to put things together. But anyway, after much struggling, I finally did get it in this good like dueling platform setting that I really, really like. As you can see display-wise, it's pretty perfect for posing minifigures, though I'll have to admit I don't actually think that this goes together in a very sturdy way. That could just be the way that I put it together, but I think eventually I got there correctly. I do just love the look of it with people dueling. Let me add more. Okay, so I really like this setup here. So up on the second platform, we have Harry and Voldemort dueling. If we move down over here, you can see Scabior just kind of scurrying away. It's what he does. This, I tried to recreate the scene where Molly is sort of like, I mean, I don't want to say she uses the killing curse, but like she does something. Bellatrix, you know, just kind of evaporates turns into paper or glass, something like that. Ignore the patch of grass that I put there for Mrs. Weasley, that's um, so that the magic wand element doesn't weigh her down. Over here on the right, we have Neville chasing down Nagini with the sword of Gryffindor. And that is what it looks like when you recreate it in this style. This is personally how I think I'm gonna be displaying it just because I love the looks of this. So definitely let me know what your thoughts are on this set, you guys. And uh, I always ask, I mean, do you collect the modular builds? And if you're like me and you don't, did you collect this one? So do let me know your thoughts and like this video if you did enjoy this review. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.